Hi there, this is Kevin once again. A very warm welcome to Hack Announce. And guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a radio box or a chat box on a Django model. So, guys, if you know, we, uh, Django have its own database, and we can create any ORM that is object relation mapper using models.py. And in the models.py, you can directly uh, sign the type that what type of what type of data that we want to store in the table but guys some people find very cram breaking like how you can add a field type of radio button or a chat box because uh, what we do we import the model in models.py and make a form in forms.py but in while making form in forms.py we can't create a radio box and chat box so here i found a solution for this so guys without being more said let's get started so guys here you are seeing the Django sign up that we get by default and here you can see I've added an email field uh, externally uh, and I override the base model using abstract user class. So I'll just show you the things that I have done and then we will go further. You can see here it's my disease predict name Django project in which I'm having a, an, an app name accounts in which we are having different models forms and all those things then we are having a templates in the templates for registration we have I have created a by default registration folder for login password reset and all those things then we are having a sign up html you can see here in the models.py i have added an email field externally and the forms.py i am adding this i have added this email field now the thing is now let's add add two things now the user which are logging in our site might be a user or might be an admin or we can take a best scenario like the user which are logging in our site is suppose it's a shopping website then it might be a customer it might be a seller so let's add is underscore cus customer and customer equal to models dot boolean field we will use boolean here we are just covering the chat box later i will show you radio button also so boolean here i will type is cus customer and here i will type default value that is for because we need a default also the default is false that is false and i'll just type another that is is underscore seller and for seller we will type models dot boolean field and the field is is doctor uh, sorry, I'm just going in hurry and default default is false And that's it. So I think that's it. We have to do let's see whether we are getting any error So you can see it shows doesn't show any error. So I so what we have to do We just need to migrate our accounts app and before migrating Let me just add these things in the forms.py also so is customer I'll just add it over here so you can see I've just added email previously now I will add both these two also so and and then is customer over here also later I will change it as a role for showing your radio button currently I'm just adding it as a checkbox this is a case where a user can be a seller and customer uh, or you can see a user can be an admin or uh, admin or as or a user this might be a case so that's why we need to use checkbox otherwise we need to use radio button when we need to use single like a gender we can see select a gender so you can see it's just uh, migrations are applied now i'll just do um, python 3 manager py migrate and let's run the server as it on the server you can see as i sign up again you can see that's bam we have got a is doctor and is customer field which one i will select it will get a boolean field as a true so once it is done in the home.py you can use is underscore if is underscore customer i will show you in the home.py where is my home.html here you can use hi username is you other here you can do if user is authenticated in place so after that if you can do like this i'll show you if user dot and then we will type what we are having is seller then here we can do something and if it is a uh, if it is a customer then we can navigate to some other thing that's a small thing that anybody can do but the main thing that's it now let's see how we should add it as a uh, as it as a radio button because radio button is needed so let me just add it uh, this also now let me just add one more field because i was thinking like i will add it as a role but now i will change it so what we can do in the models.py here i will add one more field like i will add a field of roles okay 
so what is the role currently we are just showing it as a customer now i will add roles will be a models dot it will be a care field okay uh, care field and the care field now i will add it is a um, what i will add here i will add um, max what is the what is the max default length so i will add max length equal to i will add it as a like suppose if i am adding a role role can be a admin or a user so it can be a 10 okay after that we need to add one more thing that is we will add a choices so this is a choices is the main thing that we will add so here for choices we will just add a variable name role we will create a role which is just a tuple which is a combination of other tuples i will show you in the default i will add a role is user okay and now it will be a user now let's add the roles here in the role will be as i said role will be a tuple what the tuple will contain that tuple will contain other tuples so here what i will add in this tuple what will be having like suppose what we will show and what we will give it to as a backend so in the backend i will give user and the front end i will show as user and then same thing for a admin and in the front end you will show it as a admin and that's it i think it should work and let me check whether i should get whether i get any error yeah it's an indentation issue so let me just fix this issue i think this issue should not be here i don't know why we are getting this issue yeah i think now it should get work let me just run it again yeah we are getting a max length should be positive integer oh shit guys what i have done it should be this Now I think we are yeah we are perfect doing perfect now in the forms I'll just add this field roles and it should get work let me just add it with yes I man roles and the same thing over here so in the in on net I just check that we can override the field over in the forms or we also haven't find any way so the best way is directly statically add it over here and use it now if I do first because if we have done anything we need to migrate the things now let just migrate and once i migrate now let just do run server so i think now it should work and if i go again so that's bam guys you can see here is user can be admin or a user now i'll just sign up anything like suppose if i do username is hack announce test underscore one and the email is hack announce at the at yahoo dot com it's my email and i'm a customer and then we are having a role is my admin then i'll just type some password and then again thing it should work you can see so that's bam if i got work now hack announce underscore test underscore one now my password i will type now just log in you can see please correct it okay sure I think I typed some wrong password and I, that I even don't know. So I think that's it. I hope you got to know that how we can add because we are successfully added a radio button. So I'll show you again. So it's a we are getting this and you can add any number of fields like this. So I think that's it for this video. If you like, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you face any query, please let me know. That's it. Bye bye and have a nice day.